today's lesson we'll be looking at chemistry 1501 the topic for today is empirical formula we'll be looking at a question paper from october november 2020 exam which is question 2.1 let us start this is the actual question paper as you can see it is october november 2020 Question 2, question 2.1. Let us get to the scenario. The scenario says a certain compound has the following percentage composition of 49.47% of carbon. That is the first data that we have. And then we have 5.21% of hydrogen. And then we have 28.84% of nitrogen. Or this is actually the third one and then the fourth one we have 16.48 percent of oxygen if the compound has a molecular mass of 194.2 grams per mole what is the molecular formula so in this question we can see that we are given the mass percentage and we're also given the mol molar mass or the molecular mass of that particular compound so the first thing that we need to do now the question is requiring for the molecular formula the first thing that we have to do we have to calculate the empirical formula and then we find the molar mass of the empirical formula we divide it it will be this divided by the molar mass of the empirical formula then we'll be able to get our molecular formula so let us get to it let us calculate the empirical formula. The method that we normally use with my students, we tabulate. So we simply put a table. Since we have four elements, let us put four columns. Then we can start by putting our carbon here. We put our hydrogen here. We put our nitrogen and our oxygen. So we can simply go to our data we have 49.47 and 5.21 so we have 49.47 percent and 5.21 percent let us look at for nitrogen we have 28.84 percent and 16.48 for oxygen it's 28.84 16.48 percent and 16.48 then if you can check the sum of all these mass percentages they should give you 100 then you are good to go and again this is a practice question it's a practice lesson video especially for my students just make sure that you pause the video try to work it out and play the video to verify the answer and during the examination preparation program you might have came across this particular the very same question from another question paper so it is okay if you've done this you can simply watch the lesson video to check where you might have faced the challenge and see how you easily come across or you easily solve that particular challenge so we are given the mass percentage we know that the first step we'll have to convert the mass percentage to grams by simply taking the number of the mass percentage and converting it to grams since we can see that we assume that the mass percentage this sample add up to 100 grams and then we are going to use this equation whereby is the number of moles measured in mole and then this is the mass in grams and then this is the molar mass in grams per mole the, the, the molar mass should be taken from the official periodic table of UNISA so let us quickly jump to solving our answer so we are going to use that equation so it will be the mass the mass we have 49.47 
grams divide by carbon we have 12,01 and then we have 5,21 divide by 1.008 then our nitrogen we have 28.84 divide by it's 14.01 and then we have 16.48 divide by 16.00 and then from here we can go ahead and calculate we get that the answer is 1.03 mole and then from here let us calculate this is 28.84 divided by 14.01 we get 2,059 mole and then 5.21 divided by 1,008 we get our answer as 5,16 let us round off to 3,169 mole And then we have 49.47 divided by 12,01. We get our answer as 4,119 mole. So we can see that the smallest number in this case is this one for the oxygen. So we divide by 1,03, 1,03. 1,03 and lastly 1,03 so here we are going to get 1 and then let us quickly calculate this is 2,059 divided by 1,03 we get 1,99 but remember as we are checking this we have to check for that something 0.9 in order for us to multiply by 2 or not so we can see we don't get something 0.9 we actually get 1.99 so it will be 2 let us this is how i trained my students you simply check by just clicking and quickly check if we do get something 0.5 also this one it's not something 0.5 it's just a a number that is not close to something 0.5 we have 4,119 divided by 1,03. We can see we also don't get something 0.5. So here when we round off to the nearest, since we don't have anything 0.5, it will be 4. And then we have 5 here. And then we have 2 here. Let me just verify quickly. 2,059 divided by... 1,03 we get 2 and then this is 5 so this is the empirical formula it will be C4H5N2N1 this is the empirical formula C4H5N2O1 then we need to get the molar mass of C4 H5 and 2O1 so it's four atoms of carbon which is 12,01 plus five atoms of hydrogen is 1.008 plus two atoms of nitrogen it's 14.01 plus one atom of oxygen which is 16.00 then we need the molar mass of this it's 4 12,01 plus 5 of 1.008 plus 2 of 14.01 plus 16.00 which we get 97.1 grams per mole this is the molar mass of the empirical formula 
then we use this equation. Most of my students, they get confused by this equation. We simply take the small number, compare the two molar masses. The small number, it's actually the big number divided by the small number, I'm sorry. So it's the big number divided by the small. Or we can say the molar molecular formula divided by empirical formula. Then the molecular formula we get that it's 194,2. Let me just verify from the question. Yeah, this is the one 194,2. All divided by divided by 97.1. One nine four divide one nine one nine four point two divided by ninety seven point one. We get two on the dot. This is the ratio that we have to multiply our empirical formula to get the molecular. We multiply by two. So we get C8H10N4O2. This is the molecular formula. I hope you got this one correct. This is Bakula SJ. That's it for this lesson video. Thank you very much.